welcome to Coxie's Picks. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. Enjoy. Hello and welcome to Coxie's Picks and today we're going to ask ourselves what makes these so tricky? Well, when their keyhole's up, facing up the wrist, they are an absolute big because you can't get your hands around to try and reach um, the actual keyholes. So, what if we were to make a tool? A tool that was so crazy it might actually work. Well, that got me thinking. So, I had a few bits of the old uh, happy tool lying around and I chained them all together. As you can see it's a, a little bit rough around their edges and a little bit needs screwing back in. Um, but the concept is there. We now have a snake with a key attached. And I thought, you know what? That's good. Right? Because I was able to reach in odd positions. Except if you look at the width of this, this is chunky. And when you start talking about... Let's get this out of the way. When you start talking with uh, Smith & Wesson style cuffs and rigid, anything that's chunky monkey means that the angle from here and across to here to play with this becomes quite acute. I mean with the hinge you can make it slightly smaller depending on which way your hand is bent but the end result is that you need something thinner than that. Well that got me thinking again and if anyone's been following my channel you do know I have a 3D printer and I'm a bit of a loony when it comes to printing stuff. So I started making skeleton parts and originally I was going to go with a simple design uh, somewhere like this one, where I was just going to put the key on and then press fit the key over the top. Well, that was no good. The key kept falling off. So what I did instead was I put a ridge so that I can then put the key over and then, because I'm, I'm even more of a loon, I then attached a magnet, which I'll just get hold of. which was absolute genius at the time because it fit lovely the key around the magnet on the top but the problem is as soon as it came close to the cuff it tried to make the tool just do that which then made it very awkward to use so it made it awkward but not impossible but we want this to be nice and easy so back to the drawing board just get this magnet out of the way Ooh. we took the good parts of that design and we tweaked slightly we ended up with this. Now we've taken the tool ultimate key, which has got the card uh, with the card cut back out, and uh, got the split so that we can use it on Yule. Uh, and it also this key spins quite freely, as you can see. Which, when we're trying to get it around gravitationally, it will just straight away point to the deck, which will also prove useful when we've got our hands tied behind our back. So, because um, I'm on my own. I'll only be able to demonstrate it front facing, but I suppose we could put on the point of view camera and demonstrate this bad boy in action. So, stand by. Okay, I suppose we better start with the big boys. Uh, welcome to Pillars 850C. Uh, keyholes up. Which, as I was discussing earlier, you can't quite reach the keyway. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get our GoGo -Go gadget tool. We're going to reach over. And if we wanted the double lock going, we'd go one way. But as we want the single lock going, we're going to go this way. We're just going to let gravity take the tool. I'm going to reach underneath. Apply some tension. And that's us out. So, so far, so good. On to the next one. So, the next cuff. Is that mainstay TCH? This is the model 840 single keyway uh, in that lovely exclusive yellow that we all know and love. Right, so it's a little bit trickier on this one. You need to know which way the keyway is. So the keyway is that way. So we're going to come in just like this. Oh, stand by. A bit fiddlier because I can't quite get the angles, but we'll give it a go. Oh, and the tool has just broken on me. That's always a good sign. Oh, 
I'm just going to let gravity do its thing now. In it goes. And now because it's a tall key and triple pulls, got to get the wiggle just right, but we're out. Okay, quick emergency repair to the tool hinge. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try and get out of this, the Viper Tech Smith & Wesson combination. Um, yeah, so let's see how we get on. Right, so what we need to do is we need to marry up our key orientation, which isn't that way around. It's that way around. Uh, so you want to turn the key at tool around. And we're going to try and come straight in over the top and try and dive in the keyway it's nice and smoothly. As soon as you're in the keyway, give a little gentle tug. And then what we're going to do is just going to wiggle and jiggle so it's all the way in. In this case, I'm going to use gravity a little bit to help me out. And then straighten her up. There we go. Now we're just going to try and get in. We are in. And we're out. Done. Okay, let's go head back over to the desk. Well, there you have it. That's how it works against those common mechanisms. Um, let me know your thoughts. It is simple. It is uh, functional. And obviously with practice, as with everything, it will become more and more uh, natural uh, and quicker. So speed will come with practice. But there we go. It's a simple tool. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.